this is into the fire. I take great pleasure in welcoming the dynamic, the talented, a guy who does the impossible, Miles Bergman. Nice to meet you, Miles. Nice to meet you, LJ. You have really rocketed up the draft predictions this year. Do you look at that or do you try not to pay attention to what is written? Um, I sort of try to stay focused. Obviously this year is a big year for us with Year 12 as well. So um, obviously like every now and then you might get excited by seeing your name. But um, yeah, I try to stay focused on Year 12 um, mainly because obviously that's going to be, at the end of the day, that's going to be like the one that's going to take my whole life. So footy's going to be a big part of that, but this is going to be forever. and. I'd love to do footy, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. You're such a difficult matchup, aren't you? You have a great overhead mark against small players and so quick on the lead against taller players. Where do you prefer to play? Up the ground or up forward? Um, yeah, that's a good question because I have played everywhere. So uh, probably, yeah, probably like a high forward, so like in between, maybe like a wing high forward at the moment. But yeah, don't mind getting moved around. It's a good, good experience. Yeah. High forward is a good place. Yeah. Your work rate makes you a great runner, and to add to that, your ability to win the ball makes you a very good selection for anyone needing outside run and a goal kicker. I see all these amazing attributes. What is an area of improvement for you? Um, I feel like, yeah, obviously someone always has improvement, and um, I feel like, yeah, my kicking, I, I can always make that better, so obviously your strengths you can always make like perfect, perfect so if I can try and perfect um, my kicking and then just try and use you know the attributes I got so make my marking one of my strengths as well um, and then probably just try and get as much of the ball as possible so I think yeah the more I can get it the better yeah. yeah better. You, said to, you said to yourself that you lacked a lot of self belief last year, how did you overcome this? Um, I feel like probably just from playing so in the past I've sort of missed quite a lot of footy um, and especially like the major part of developments so like 16, 17s, I missed about a year and a half. So sort of coming back, didn't know what to expect, but just being being out there and um, being supported by the boys, I think sort of helped me get that confidence back and then getting selected for Metro and being able to play it all four games sort of really lifted that and brought that back to Sandy and tried to help out there, yeah. Yeah, that's great. How does a guy go from one year being nervous to the next year thriving on pressure? Um, yeah, good question. Uh, I feel like I've probably always been pretty good with pressure and yeah, I feel like last year obviously I still did love the pressure but just a bit nervous because I was a bottom ager. I wanted to try and make everyone happy. So I feel like, yeah, I just didn't want to step on anyone's toes. Um, just make all the top ages happy like it's their year. Um, so I let them do their thing and obviously now it's my year. So yeah, I thought it yeah, changed it up a bit. <laughs> yeah. Your school, St Bede's College, won its very first grand final and you won the Danaher medal as, as best of field. Do they have a statue of you being made as we speak? <laughs> oh, that would be great, but no, I don't think so. Um, yeah, that would be a good memory though, because that was our very first one, like you said, and um, yeah, I think all of us will remember that in years to come. That's a great memory. You've struggled over the time with shin soreness. This has limited you at times. How's that feeling at the moment? Um, yeah, it's getting better slowly. I think I just got to manage it. So um, coming up to the combine, I haven't done a whole heap of running, sort of just a bit off legs, so like on the bike or something like that to um, keep fitness. But at the end of the day, that's not really going to be the best for practicing for a running test. So um, yeah, they're getting better, but still a bit sore. And I'll see how I go um, with testing, but I might not be able to do it all. But yeah. See how it goes. Yeah. You're known for being a great student and a keen student. What are those grades looking like? Don't tell me you're also ducks of the school. <laughs> oh, I'd like to think I'd be ducks, but no, I don't think so. We've got some really smart kids in our year level. Um, uh, hopefully I'm up there though. Um, yeah, I'm doing all right so far. I'm hoping for a pretty good score. Maybe looking at getting into um, medicine, or uh, that would probably be number one. Otherwise, pretty broad mind at the moment. Like I'm still looking at maybe engineering or commerce, but yeah, medicine would probably be number one. Yeah, that'd be a good job. If you were to say a quote to sum you up, what would it be? Fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> nice one. If you could be born any time in history, what famous person would you be and why? Ooh, yeah. I'm, I'm lost for words. I'm trying to think of the actor, but now I can't even think of his name. Um, oh, God. Yeah, I feel like being an actor would be pretty good. Um, any, any, like, action movies, I feel like they've got a great life, you know. Um, 
Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson, like their um, yes. friendship and stuff, that would be amazing if you had someone like that to do movies with. I think mean, that would be pretty yeah, cool. that'd be amazing. What would you choose as your animal sidekick if you starred in a movie? I'd have to go with maybe like a, a jaguar or something. Yeah, something like a little, good. little fast, quick, yeah. Yeah. When I read up about you, you seem so humble. Well, I'll say it, you're a superstar of the future. You have everything the AFL loves. You had a great championship. But who was your hardest matchup? Um, yeah, I did get challenged actually. I Towards the end of the season, I got a role in um, Matt Rowe. Obviously, that's going to be a great challenge. So um, I was pretty happy actually to be put on him. Like It's a good challenge, and obviously that means they see something in me, being able to play on him. So. Um, playing a bit inside and just sort of looking out for him at stoppages and yeah I thought I did pretty well but he's he's just uh, he's amazing yeah so like, I thought I did my job at first um, and then I start to fall off trying to get the ball and next thing I know it's in his hands so not much you can do about that. Yeah. Great player. Okay let's give you a couple of simpler questions. If you're interstate what's the thing you'd miss the most? Oh yeah it's obviously got to be family and friends like um, that's going to be pretty tough, but at the end of the day, like, I've loved footy ever since I was a kid, so I'd be happy to move over. And you know, Nowadays we've got like, our phones, you can FaceTime, something you can call, so I feel like it'd be pretty easy to still keep in touch. Yeah. yeah. You have to prepare tea for yourself. What's your go-to meal? <sighs> oh, it's got to be pasta. Um, pretty much any pasta. I feel like the traditional spag bowl is probably my go-to, yeah. Easy to cook. Yummy. Yeah, exactly. Who would play you in a movie? Ooh. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if someone might have my sort of hair, might have to have someone dye their hair to play me, but um, yeah, I don't know. Well, obviously, Matt Damon's a great actor, I'd love to have him, but he might have to grow his hair and dye it if he wants to play me. <laughs> Well, Miles, you're an exciting player for, for me because I like goals and plenty of them. I see many of them in your future and people will know your name very quickly. However, with that comes the pressure of how to celebrate. Well, Miles, lucky for you, I'm here for you. Imagine a huge pack mark hitting the ground, banging the ball through, standing to attention and giving it the end of the thigh. It goes like this. Do you want to have a try? Yeah, I reckon, I reckon that could be my go-to, just the... Like that. Right, do you want like, to try one more time? Together? Yep. Nice. Yeah, I reckon that could be my go to from now on. That, I'll remember that one. Right, thank you. I can't thank you enough, Mars, for going into the fire with me today. You're a humble young guy, but a player who, who some lucky club will get to light up the oval. I can't wait to see where you end up. Good luck in the job. Thank you, LJ. Thank Thanks you. for that.